Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. We've got a new flesh and blood set. I am excited. This set looks really cool. So I've got a full case here. This was from a sealed case. We're going to be doing one box per video. So let's just go with this one right here. And this set has some really cool stuff. Obviously, Dusk Till Dawn. So it's got a kind of theme here with the light and dark which is very cool. There's also some very interesting things. A lot of, there's like 10 Marvels, eight Legendaries. And then I read real quick when I was just looking it up, wanted to look up a little info about the set. There are 10 Cold Foil serialized cards. Like there's serialized flesh and blood cards now. I haven't seen, I didn't look up any videos of anyone like pulling any or anything. I just read a little, I went on the actual Flesh and Blood website, Legend Stories Studios, and I just saw that real quick. So that would be pretty amazing if we pulled a serialized card. I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe if you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. But anyways, like I was saying, a full case of this, if you want to see the full case opened, on cam make sure to subscribe there's our foil common rare envelop in darkness frontline legs and that's the rares for that pack did i miss anything you know that's like it's weird they keep changing up the order of the packs these are just 10 card packs that's why seemed lighter than usual it's because it is it's 10 cards i like the 10 card packs more there's just less bulk that i have to post and sell on tcg player all right foil common and we've got wall breaker and deathly delight all right so most of the legendaries and marvels are over a hundred dollars still at this point very cool. There's one in particular. I think it's like an extended art legendary that is like $300, which is kind of ridiculous. It's very expensive for a flesh and blood card. Nowadays, our first majestic widespread ruin. Most of the non-foil majestics are just a few bucks. There is one that was like 30 bucks though, with warmongers something or other i'll know it when i see it it's like 28 dollars currently all right there's our foil putrid stirrings we've got oh there's a cold foil cold foil rare early in the box getting our cold foil it's just a rare unfortunate i'll put that one up there Cold foil rares, not worth a whole lot. You do get one cold foil per box usually, unless the cold foil is a common. I don't know if there's any cold foil commons in this set because it's a smaller set. Vantum Wraith, Vile Inquisition, Deathly Whale. Right, early box cold foil but you know that's all right that means one of the other boxes in our case is going to have something great Ooh, angelic wrath that is beautiful the foiling on that card is fantastic all right banneret of vigor extended rare Are the extended art rares worth any more I didn't know there was extended art rares. All right. Got foil rare V for Valor. Man, flesh and blood. I was just admiring the foiling on that. The V or the uh, V for Valor. The uh, foils. For flesh and blood are just so good looking. They do a much better job than Wizards of the Coast, honestly. All 
say if you're comparing flesh and blood to Magic the Gathering, I like the foils for flesh and blood more. And if you're comparing Digimon to Pokemon, I actually prefer the foiling and texturing of Digimon more than Pokemon. It's kind of funny. Blood Dripping Frenzy. Majestic. Whoa, look at that. That's crazy looking. Man, that flesh and blood artwork is just so good too. All right, moving along. Foil Common. Celestial Resolve. So it's the smaller. Oh, actually, I think Flesh and Blood doesn't do Uncommons, does it? I was thinking because it's the smaller packs, it doesn't have Uncommons. But then I was like, no, wait, I don't think they usually have Uncommons anyway. At least not since the first sets. They had like Super Rares and then Majestics. Now it's just Common Rare Majestic. Beaming Bravado, Wall Breaker. All right, we've got an upside down foil majestic. Warmonger's Diplomacy. Oh, that's the one. Oh, wow, that's an expensive card. Warmonger's Diplomacy, an upside down foil majestic. That's a really good card. I think the market price on this was 28, but that was probably for the non foil. This could be a very expensive card. Very nice. Maybe if I'm smart and not lazy, I'll actually put the price of that up on the screen. You'll probably have seen it by now. These prices will be, because I'm trying to upload this today, I'm doing this the Monday after release. Rare Banneret of Resilience. Banneret. All right, V for Valor. And another Majestic Beckoning Light. Very cool. So that was disappointing with the cold foil, but then we got the highest value Majestic in the set. That is definitely the Majestic you want. And we got it in foil. That was really good. All right. Tribute to the Legions of Doom. Look at that. Oh, that's like gigantic. Look, the little normal-sized people down there. And you got the big colossal... What are they calling it? Are they calling it something? A Shadow Brute. I was hoping they were going to call it like a monstrosity or something. <laughs> All right, Shaden Scream, Beaming Bravado. Beaming Bravado is one of the Majestics, isn't it? Or not Majestic, but the uh, the Marvel. Beaming Bravado is one of the good Marvels, I think. All right. Oh, whoa! This was a really good box. This turned out to be a really good box, actually. Diadem of Dream State. Legendary. I was not expecting a legendary. Wow, we had multiple really good cards in this box. Wow. Not a cold foil legendary, but still a legendary. Some of the legendaries are like $100, some of them are like 20 so... Guess... I'll, I'll put the prices up. You've probably seen it by now. I'm just... Flying by the seat of my pants. We'll see what that one's worth. Or I'll see what that one's worth. You guys have already seen it. All right. Light the way for the foil. Deathly Delight and Shade and Scream in yellow that time. Was the other one also yellow? Pitch. The rares usually come in just one pitch, don't they? It's only commons that come in multiple pitches. Or are there some rares that come in multiple pitches? 
Ooh, foil grim feast. Look at the foiling on that. It's like just the little wisps coming out of the people. That is really good attention to detail. Envelop in darkness, frontline helm. Very cool, resounding courage. We've got a V for Valor yet again. A majestic, there we go, Anthem of Spring. All right, very nice. So that brings us up to only five Majestics. But we do have that legendary. It's kind of funny that, uh, well, I guess we'll see later. I don't know the prices right now. Tribute. To Demolition, Foil, Deathly Whale, and Hungering Demigon. Man, there are some crazy looking shadow creatures in this set. We've got Defender of Daybreak. And Lay to Rest and Ram Raider. Hopefully I didn't miss any Majestics. Sometimes when I ramble on, I miss some Majestics. Rune Chant. All right, Light the Way. Vile Inquisition. Hellhammer. That is cool looking. I would use that just because it's cool looking. Don't care if I lose the match. I'd have two decks. I'd have the deck that's like good and then I'd have the deck that I just think is like cool looking cards. And I would lose every single match, but at least I'd look good doing it. Vile Inquisition, Cleansing Light, that's cool. And there we go, Poison the Well. Majestic. Got some natural lighting coming in. The sun just popped out. I'm recording this early in the morning. It's like 7.30. Sun just came out from behind the clouds. Okay, what do we got? Foil Common. Shade and Swing. Very cool. The foiling on that, on the little finger trails, whatever you want to call those. All right, Envelop in Darkness and Banneret of Resilience. We've got two packs left. See if we can get another Majestic. That'd be cool. All right, Celestial Resolve, Grim Feast, Deathly Whale, last pack. See if we can get something good. And then I'll pull up those three really good cards again. Well, two of them are good. I don't know about that cold foil. All right, Glaring Impact. Blessing of Salvation. And Grim Feast. Nothing in the last pack, but look at these. We got our cold foil rare. Very cool looking great axe there. Might not be worth much, but look at that. Diadem of Dream State. Very nice. Legendary in our first box. And this bad boy, Warmonger's Diplomacy. Highest majestic that you can pull out of the set. Well, actually, there's probably some extended arts. The extended art majestics are probably worth quite a bit, but if you're not including the extended arts, then Foil Warmonger's Diplomacy is definitely the best. So make sure to subscribe. I have three more boxes. We pulled 
our legendary out of our sealed case. We still have not pulled a Marvel yet. I blanked on it for some reason. I've not pulled the Marvel yet. If you want to see me pull a Marvel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.